Okay, so for this question, right, we need to show that uh, the n root of 2 multiplied to 4 power m is equal to 2 to the power of 2m plus 1 over n. So that's very easy. Okay, so what we do, uh, very simple, is we try to create the same base. The ideal case for this question is that if, if a, so-called if a to the power of m equals to a to the power of n, then this just means that uh, m is equals to n. Okay, can I? So with that idea in mind, we are going to try to create the same base on both sides so that we can try to solve the uh, question. So this right uh, portion, okay, n root, we know that n root is the same as uh, 1 to the power of 1 over n, okay, to the power of 1 over n. So uh, n root on the left hand side, 2, 4 power m, okay, this is just the same as me uh, probably solving let me just write it as 2 power 1 inside here 4 is the same as 2 power 2 and there's an m okay so there's an n root so 4 power m essentially I've converted this 4 power m to 2 power 2 m and from here sorry let me just write it down huh? okay this is the same n root as 2 power 2 m plus 1 okay now, now next one let me deal with this n root so remember n root n is outside so we can say it as this is 2 to the power of 2m plus 1 to the power of 1 over n so this is the same as 2 to the power of 2m plus 1 over n so remember that when we take you know a to the power of m bracket n outside is a to the power of m times n that's why here they are related by times and therefore, I got a fraction here. Okay, so with that, we are done. You can see I've shown that my left is equal to my right hand side. Okay, well, I'm done already for part one. Okay, I have finished part one. Huh? Okay, so this is part one. So hence, next, we will solve the simultaneous equation. Okay, I probably won't show you everything. Lah. I'm just going to let you try. I think because the simultaneous equation is, is quite trivial. Huh? Okay, so the first equation here, uh, I already know that it, it looks something like that. So from the hands, uh, so it means that I'm using the first part to help me. So I'm solving the simultaneous equation. So from here, uh, this is 2 to the power of 2m plus 1 over n, right? Because this is equals to this, right? It's equals to 8. Now 8 is the same as 2 to the power of 3. So I'm just going to put 2 to the power of 3. Uh, this also means that Straight away, if I equate the index indices, 2m plus 1 over n is equal to 3. 2m plus 1 is equal to 3n. And this is my first equation. Okay? And the second equation will come from here. Uh, 27 to the power of m over 9 to the power of n plus 1 equals to 81. This is the same as me searching for 3 to 21 is the same as 3 power 3 m. 9 is the same as 3 power 2 multiplied to m plus 1. 81 is the same as 3 power 4. So here, here I mean, I, I did quite a bit of quick indices. Huh? I mean, 9 is the same as 3 power 2. And it's 3 power 2 times m plus 1. Okay, oh? so do not go and put 2m plus 1. It's actually 2n plus 2. 27 is 3 power 3. 3 times m is 3m. With that, uh, combine 3m and 2m plus 1, 2 bracket m plus 1, sorry. This will give you, I mean, a to the power of m or uh, minus 2 bracket m plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 4. That gives you 3m minus 2n minus 2 equals to 4. Uh, 3m minus 2n, you know, 4 over, I get a 6. Uh, this equation 2 now you just take equation 1 and you take equation 2 and you start to solve okay you should be able to get your answers all right just let me have a quick look what should the answer be now based on the textbook your answer should be for question 12 huh? uh, m should be equals to 4 and n should be equals to 3 okay can yeah so all the best and i hope you have a understood this video well. Thank you.